What's going on guys, Griffin here from Millennial Motivation Entrepreneur coming back to you all with an informative kind of motivation video at the same time. As you can probably see, I'm wearing my order up shirt. I hope you guys can see that all right. I think you can, but I'm actually about to go do some orders. I don't know if you guys can see because I have my subscribe button down here in this bottom right corner, but it's currently 5.30. I got off at four. I literally ran over to Best Buy to get a new ethernet cable to make my internet faster and like with my laptop specifically and came home about to go meet up with my parents to get gas get that dollar off per gallon always trying to save some money of course and then from there i'm going to jump straight on to order up um, i'm going to do order up probably what i figured i'll start doing now is just t tell myself i need to make at least 15 dollars a day on average so if i do 20 or 30 one day then i can take a day off or just as long as i average 15 dollars a day seven days a week I'll be fine for the month because $15 a day times seven days a week is like $105. So if I can do $105 a week times four weeks, that's over $400. And my goal is $400 a month with order up. And I think that's just an easier way of doing it versus telling myself, well, let's just do $100 a week because I mean, I tend to kind of push it off until my weekend. And then I depend on two days to make my $100. And then obviously we're doing day trading, hanging out with family, etc. It doesn't happen. I end up only making like $30 those two days and I end up being short. So um, just at the end of the day, like I always say, even with stock markets and with everything, when you are an entrepreneur, you have to just constantly motivate yourself, find ways to motivate yourself, find ways to set new goals when you notice that like um, just goals ten goals that you previously set for yourself tend to be kind of too vague like when i said four hundred dollars a month that was too vague so then i was like okay well i'm gonna do a hundred dollars a week that was too vague still so now i'm telling myself well i need to average fifteen dollars a day which isn't nothing that's like two orders sometimes three but for the most probably two orders which only equals about an hour at the most hour and a half of my time yesterday i did it for an hour and eight minutes was the amount of time i was logged on and in an hour and eight minutes i made 19 dollars so i mean that's just one example no matter what you're doing to fund your account or get out of debt you just have to consistently remind yourself what the end goal is my end goal is to be able to quit my job sometime in 2019 move me and my girlfriend down to texas to live down there with her family and it's always been a dream of mine to live in the south be it texas or florida i knew it was going to be one of those two just didn't know which one exactly so just consistently set goals for yourself remind yourself of those goals every single day and if you know, say your goals tend to be too vague, just keep on breaking it down until you can't break it down no more. When I realize, hey, all I need to do is make like 10 to $15 a day. If I want to, I can make 20 a day and make even more because 20 a day times seven days is what, 140? So take that times four, that's what, like 500 bucks, maybe more, like 560? So when, you just break, when I broke it down like that for myself, it was a lot easier to go, well, this is easy. I only need to do this like an hour a day, nothing big. So... That's just my quick little motivation, but I just wanted to hit on JDST and maybe one other stock, maybe a couple real quick. I have to leave here in a minute, like I said, to go meet with my parents for gas. Um, no, they do not pay for my gas, by the way. I still pay them, but I get that dollar off per gallon, so it makes it really good here. That makes it like a dollar thirty-three. but I called out JDST. I said that it was turning up, and I thought it would have a sell-off. It did, in fact, have a sell-off today, and I what did I say? I said I wanted to wait for a bounce. I wanted to wait for a confirmation. And I think that I got my confirmation, guys. Um, I haven't quite. I do want it to go, obviously, about 58, like I said. Once it broke, because it did slight, it did kind of go back. As you can see, it went below 58, and then it did come up briefly. But I was watching the candle, saw that they remained red. So when they started turning back down, I just watched it. And sure enough, it kept going, kept going. I do think we did finally bottom out here around 56. So I do look forward to continue trend up. If you did get in, if you're a gambler, um, I wouldn't really call you a gambler, but if you're someone that takes more risk opportunities than me and you got in around 57 and you traded off for 58, $59, you made what, right? Something somewhere around like two to five percent profit for the day. So good for you if you did that. Um, if not, no big deal. I'm looking at it more as possible like a two or three day trade. I mentioned that more kind of like a slightly swing trade, but with big opportunity. Of course, we calculated that it was like 19 percent profit potential because I plan on getting in around 58, 59, selling it off for probably around 65, maybe even 70. I'm thinking more towards 65, but either way, that is still double digit profit, guys. And 
at the end of the day, when you break that down, that's more than three percent a day for sure. So the call out there was definitely good. Of course, it was nice to see that sell off. And then if you notice, like I always say, JNUG is the inverse of what JDST. So obviously JDST started off with a minor sell off. And then what did it do? Boom! Just blast through. I mean, I wouldn't say blast through or anything. But if you would have gone in here, waited for the confirmation around twelve seventy five, and rode that puppy up all the way to let's just say what? Let's go ahead and say thirteen twenty five for easy numbers. You'd have made what? Like, uh, da, 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 what would that be like 50 cent profit, something like that? Maybe 75? What did I say? 12, 75, 13. So, yeah, you'd have made like a 50 cent profit. Nothing big or anything, but what what is 50 cent profit, guys? Um, let's see here. Calculator, pull that up real quick. And so, 50 cents divided by your initial investment of what? 12.75, correct? 12.75 is what? Almost 4%, guys. So, like I said, if you today traded JNUG, I always say JNUG. If you're looking to day trade ETFs, I love JNUG just simply because there's always some kind of reward, it seems, to JNUG, as long as you catch it at the right time. Like, if you would have gambled and held it here, I mean, you could have gotten in right here at 1270, sold it off at 1315, and still made roughly what, 2.5 to 3% profit. But if you would have gambled and, well, not necessarily gambled, but if you would have kind of panicked when you saw it selling off here down to 13, um, then you would have lost on some profits, of course. It would only been like a percent and a half then at that point. But if you just look at the previous trends, let's go back to 10 day. If you, or not 10, let's go to five. Try to keep it more simple. If you notice, I mean, JNUG has these sell offs, then it goes up, sells off, goes up. So, I mean, I look for it again to probably sell off because, of course, I look for JDST to go up. I actually look for JNUG to probably continue to trend down. I keep saying I look for it to make new lows. It actually surprised me that it actually kind of broke through this resistance around 1315. Obviously, it got up to like 1340 or something like that for a brief minute and then started trending back down and got rejected again. So, I, look, I do look for it to continue to trend down. Um, but, like I said, I'm just going to wait for confirmation on JDST. But um, yeah, I definitely do need to get going, guys. So like I said, hopefully this video did motivate you and um, maybe give you a little bit of information on these two stocks, on these two ETFs specifically. If it did, definitely make sure to smash that like button. I greatly appreciate it. And if you're new to me, definitely hit that subscribe button below. I greatly appreciate that. But until next time, guys, keep on going out there making them profits and achieving some financial freedom. And I'll see you guys in the next video.